All right, joint soreness and stiffness often make arthritis sufferers inactive because it hurts to move. But a new Loyola University study shows that exercise can actually improve mobility, improve your situation. So in this week's Healthy Living, Dr. Bill Lloyd is here to explain all of this because, yeah, I mean, you've got arthritis, it hurts to be active, and so you kind of feel like you want to be sedentary. This study is saying you need to do the total opposite. How and why? Yeah, the big danger of being sedentary, Frederick, is the fact that inactivity weakens the muscles, the tendons, and the ligaments that are supposed to support the joint. So if you're just sitting around because of pain, those joints are going to become instable or unstable, I should mm -hmm. say. It's only going to aggravate your symptoms. And mm -hmm. there's new information that chronic pain from arthritis is also linked to other problems like diabetes and high blood pressure because you're not out there exercising. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so then let's talk about that exercise. What sort of exercise are we talking about my mom has arthritis and I know she you know will go for swimming some and walking but are there other things that arthritis sufferers need to be considering certainly let's break it down like always you start with stretching now healthy people stretch to protect themselves from injury but stretching itself can be an exercise Frederica for arthritis sufferers because it's going to work on the tendons and ligaments and strengthen those joints and make them more stable mm -hmm. on top of that strength training uh, also low impact exercises like the treadmill or a bicycle or even swimming no difference whether you do it in the water or on the land low mm -hmm. impact aerobics are great flexibility exercises you know like going to yoga again to keep those joints flexible and as you do it the pain will diminish more and more and then finally a variety of balance activities things like like standing on one leg at a time or sidestepping will protect you from falls and keep you safe in the years ahead wow and it really means doing all of these things very slowly right don't try to rush your body because you certainly don't want to get injured while trying say something like the balancing well, certainly, you want to go slow as you can, start slow, and then build up on it. You're not training for an Ironman competition. <laughs> you simply want to improve the flexibility and, and relieve the pain. And it's important that you go forward with these exercises because when you have chronic pain, like you mentioned, you're okay. going to become inactive. And with that, there's going to be a weight gain. The more weight you gain, the more prone you are to other serious medical problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, and abnormalities with your lipids, all of which are just going to make you sicker and yeah. decrease your overall quality of life. We know arthritis sufferers who are in pain all right, have a decreased quality of life. They have depression and mood disturbances because uh. they're sore all the time. This information now tells us by getting out and exercising and limiting that exercise by the amount of pain you have, we yeah. don't want you training hurt. Take it wow. to the level of where you feel discomfort and you stop there, you'll have improved mobility and greater flexibility and you'll be able to get up and get around more often. Yay, excellent. All great advice. Thanks so much. Dr. Bill Lloyd, appreciate that. How's that uh, grandbaby doing of you, of yours? Now a week It's old the easiest so. job in the world. Being a grandfather, <laughs> I haven't had to change a diaper yet, but oh, thanks yay. for asking. We'll talk again uh, soon. I'm sure it's coming. All right, Dr. Bill Lloyd. <laughs> thanks so much.